Today we'll be making a pre-contact meal using indigenous foods found on the North American continent. We'll make bison and wild rice cakes with a blackberry and sarvasberry sweet corn relish and green beans on the side. Pre-contact food is food that indigenous nations would have had access to on the North American continent prior to the arrival of settlers. So a lot of what I'm doing in my cooking, using the modern kitchen obviously, is to take traditional foods that would have been on North America and maybe mixing them up as they would have probably never been found between different tribes. So there are two main benefits of utilizing pre-contact food in cooking. The first is the obvious health benefits with our indigenous bodies only having a couple of centuries, if that, to learn how to digest introduced foods such as wheat, such as dairy, and all the other preservatives that we've started adding, it's really difficult for a lot of native peoples to be able to digest that and process it. The statistics are saying that 50% of kids that are being born will develop diabetes in their lifetime. The other additional benefit, besides the obvious health ones, are that there are things that we have access to. There are stuff that we can get or grow or hunt on our own lands. So that's a lot of what I'm passionate about is getting people excited about food sovereignty, but in ways that make it accessible. I think it's really important for indigenous people around the world to decolonize their minds, decolonize their diets, really think about wellness from a traditional aspect because our ancestors they had that level figured out. 